everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion plays chess. Sorry, it's been a few, uh, I mean, it's been like a week and a bit since some videos. I mean, we, we've just been having, uh, uh, our time has been pinched. I don't know why I had to do this to, to demonstrate what a pinch looks like. Um, but, you know, the baby in the morning in particular when I do my recording, she's been fussy. Right, sweetie? She's looking at me right now like, you better get a checkmate in like 12 moves. If you don't get a checkmate in like 12 moves, this whole system's coming down. Okay, give me give me a little fist bump, okay? Boom. I've been going through a little crisis of faith in chess. Um, we're going to play some five minute today. I'm just going to be honest. I've been playing bullet, okay? And and bullet is a bad habit. It's it's a vice. It melts your brain and, and your chess analytic capabilities. We're going to play five minutes um, to try to ladder ourselves, if possible, uh, back up. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, like to get used to spending more than, you know, a minute to make a move, I think would be advisable. So here's what, or more than a second, I should say. Okay, so what if, and I don't really remember the how to play the Rui Lopez, especially the Cozio defense, but what if we play D5? You play D5, takes, 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 what, <laughs> even my arrow skills are understated. Takes... Queens out there. How do we get pushed out? They just play knight to c6. I don't like that that much. Just give me a knight to c3. I feel like we lose some tempo in the process there. Um, to be honest, I'd like to keep their bishop locked down here. Oh, they're going to play. Oh, that's an interesting one, isn't it? F5. Um, well, in response to F5, I'm definitely willing to play uh, D3. And if they want to lock my bishop in... Which they don't. Okay, so what do we do here then? I think we want to maintain some control of the center. Although, I mean, I don't mind this that much. But I think we're, we're better off with something like that. Alright, and then we will probably uh, play bishop to g5 to put some pressure on this. They're going to try to push me out of here. I don't really mind, honestly. Um, if they want to play b5, it weakens their ability to castle queenside. Which doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, like, they're not going to play that. Let's just put it that way. There is a temptation to play this and then force them to overextend here. But with us castling uh, kingside, probably, I don't want to give them basically free pawn moves. Uh, I think I'd rather try to get some control of a square like d4, which they can actually um, get to quite nicely. Obviously, I'm a little concerned. I mean, concerned is not the right word. In this current situation, if you want to spend the move doing this, I would, I would allow it to get an open file. You know, I don't know if an open file is that <laughs> valuable, but I think I would, I would consider it acceptable. Um, one of the things we got to do is get our knight out here. Like if we go knight to here, for example, then we can play queen here. And how do you, what do you do to respond to that check? You know, we take, you, you pretty much have to get blown out. So for now, I actually think... And believe it or not, I think we respond immediately with the check and then the take. Because it's going to force the king out there and that's going to be good for us. So we're going to start with check. Unless I'm missing something. This is danger levels, baby. Getting ready for Twitch Rivals. Now we have used half our time already, but that's not atypical for the opening for us. <laughs> now what do we do? We, we start to stack some very strong diagonals. Yeah, you knew something like this was, was likely, right? Um, I think you play, I think you get weird with it. Like they can't take, cause then we'll take their rook. But okay, hold on. Think about it. Cause they're going to move their king. You need to put your, oh, then you could just play this. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's fine. I can't do the arrows fast enough. They'll probably move king. Which, no. Okay. Then we will just take their rook. We, at some point, we want a castle. Puts an unbelievable amount of pressure down here. You wouldn't believe it, but I, I was being sincere when I said we were in a funk. <laughs> um, now, the queen is actually very close to being trapped. Um, now that I'm looking at it seriously, I'm like, how the heck are we going to get out of here? Because if they play bishop... Well, if they play bishop here, we play... Oh, we're running out of time, man. If they play bishop here... We play this, or we just take the queen, 
And if they play queen up first, and they play bishop here, we just move up. Okay, so yeah, we castle. And then if they threaten the queen, we threaten this bishop. They're going to run some defense on that, which is understandable. Um, I think because we're up a piece, let's destroy their, their pawn structure over here. Um, and then I think let, let's put some pressure on their queen. They probably won't want to trade if they do. We double rooks. We get a lot of power down here. And then we get our knight involved. I mean, I think you could just do that immediately. <clears throat> they can't they can move their king back one but so what i think the next thing we do is we try to get this knight involved and the first move you definitely cannot do this <laughs> um well you know what we can do we, we can super do that just destroy another pawn and then again you know now they basically can't move their queen or they're, they're gonna lose this bishop i mean i guess they could do this it takes a while though um, and now I was originally going to do like, I, I, I don't know what's happening. They've resigned. Okay. So, I mean, we're, we're playing a little bit below our ELO, um, in terms of our opponents, but you, if you go to chess.com and you look at like the last week of my games, you'll be like, you'll understand why. Like I, I've been, I've been playing some terrible chess, like just leaving my queen hanging everywhere. It's, it's the bad bullet habits. So we're just trying to get ourselves, uh going again you know we're trying to get some some degree of uh consistency so let's do some analysis another habit i've gotten out of um and and remember what it's like to play chess a little slower like i've often said that i have a disadvantage because i'm talking through moves i think i have a disadvantage temporally speaking in time i think i have a real advantage in uh in in debugging because i can see the problems with what i'm what i'm thinking about by talking it out Okay, so this is standard, but they, they prefer our position. These are book moves. I'm glad to see that's a book move. We puzzled that out ourselves. Everything's fine. They're like, that's okay, but they prefer the castle. I don't know. I, like, I, I worry about the castle just because, like, let, let's say, um, okay, I castle. I think it just, it commits us too early, in my opinion. It, uh, what do I know that Rui Lopez doesn't, but, or didn't? But it takes away some of the flexibility, right? Now, you know, they come in. Uh, with like bishop to g4, which they don't really like, but you know, let's assume they did it. Um, then I do something like this. Uh, they're probably going to fall back again to h5. I again, the, the the engine slightly disagrees, but I'm not playing the engine. You know, I'm playing against uh, <laughs> 1400 as a 1400. Um, then we got to make a choice, right? Like, what are we going to do here? Usually, we just ignore it probably and play something like d3. I think. Um, and it says we're up by a pawn in this position. That's interesting. Maybe it's not so bad. The problem is we, we can never, like, if we play this, we can't move our queen up because we got to deal with this bishop first. Otherwise, we end up with doubled pawns and, like, this really juicy open file. Um, but I can see why we would be up by a pawn, uh, despite equal material. Really, like, this knight being here is, is really bad for, uh, for black. You know, the queen is uh, impinged. The bishop is useless. And then even the knight itself is why, like, f6 is a, a much better position. You get some control over the center. You know, you can reinforce your bishop over here, uh, you know, basically to get a threat on the queen if this pawn hadn't been played yet. It, it gives you a lot more flexibility. This does allow you to cover that without having to worry about doubling up your pawns, but, you know, at what cost? Anyway, you know, again, too much analysis on a victory, not enough on a loss. Very, very understandable complaint people have. Okay, now they're like F4, F5. What the heck were you thinking? Um, I think we just played uh, D3. No, they're like just castle. That gave up our advantage. That's interesting. I wonder why. So let's assume we castle. Um, I, I honestly would assume that they take... And then we would take... We're still up by a pawn and a half despite equal material. It gives us a, a much better position there, I guess. We can certainly like push d5 at some point. Or d4, sorry. Okay, so that happens. Let, let's think about that. They, they're going to play d5. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this how this went down? I guess we get, we get our knight here. We get some valuable threats. Okay, so I think we played d3. Inaccuracy, that's, that's painful. That hurts me when you say that. We took with the knight. They want us to take with the pawn. 
Okay, good to know for the future. <laughs> yeah, they're like, please get this knight out of here so you can do something with the bishop. Um, we, we move our bishop to a very powerful position. They still want us to castle. We can castle whenever, engine. Get over it. All right, now they think that you actually gave up a lot there. My thinking, um, I mean, was maybe a little bit uh, precious, you know? My thinking was I didn't want them to get basically tempo by doing something they were going to do anyway. Uh, it turned out to not matter because we stopped them from castling. And actually, now that I think about it, having them push that regardless, like if, if we had done this and then they do this and then we do that. Um, at, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. I, I got too big for my britches. Okay, we go here. If they play uh, g5, we play knight to here check. How does that go? They're forced to go here. It's the only move you've got. Um, and I wonder, because obviously you take the bishop, right? But what if you don't? <laughs> what if instead you cover... The knight. Oh, absolutely not. Okay, sorry. I, I, I regret mentioning it. The beauty of having the engine in analysis is you don't need to run it through yourself and test it. You can just be like, I apologize. Okay, so you take that. I imagine, though, that after this, what would I do if I were them? I would do this. You could also take this, but I feel like that's a much worse line. Because if you take this, your pawns look like doo-doo over here. And then I just take this. And then, you know, you get maybe like a pseudo castle going on. Uh, something like that. You, you might have taken with the queen. You might have taken with the king. It's not a big deal. Then I guess we take that. And like, look at this. It's it. We're up by a pawn, but I can't believe that the advantage is only plus 1.7. Like, this is horrible. Although this pawn is quite dangerous for us in the future. Um, but, you know, again, that's not how it went down. This is it's just an example of how it could have gone down. Instead, we took the coward's way out. And they're like, good move. And I said, you know what? We're going we're gonna to start. They actually think they, this gives black an advantage. But I, I really like this line here. They're like, what are you doing? That gave us an enormous play. And then we hit him with the check. Love to see an attacking move as the best move. They make a move. We take. We're up by two. And then this is where it just gets kind of uh, absurd. So what do we play here? I think we just played uh, back one check. Best move. Love to see it. They played this, and they're like, what are you doing? Best response. What are you doing? Look at that. We're up by eight. <laughs> Positionally up. We're, we have an extra rook just based on position. And we've taken a rook as well. And then, like, I mean, it's from this point onwards, the game is basically over. I think we castle. That puts a, it was the best move, by the way. I told you. Maybe it would have been the best move earlier. But maybe it was better than the previous best later. It was, it was, it's new best was better than its best. Oh, you know what? They actually, I, I like this. They we're, we're up by 21 after this move. If we do this, why? Presumably they do this. Ah, okay. This, I should have seen it. They, they're forced to take, uh, more or less. Um, we put them in check and then there's really nothing they can do here. Well, no, that's not true. I'm like, can't they just go back? That's a blunder. Does this lead to... Oh, you know what? It probably leads to mate. Yeah, okay. That explains it. I was I was too focused on the bishop. So, okay. Let, what, what they actually do is this. Oh, sorry. Rephrase, rephrase. What they actually do is this. Then you probably threaten. We get out of there and reinforce. I don't know where you're going now. You're going here, I suppose. I think you do... I mean, who cares? This is just like, this is mating pattern. You probably just do this and start to like, you know, screw up the the king's placement and stuff like that. You might even, honestly, like I might be persuaded to just do that even though... Oh, it's excellent, apparently. You get a bishop and a rook for a, for a queen? That's not so bad. Anyway, sorry, I got, I got lost in the sauce there. I, it, it's very fun to do analysis on your own wins. Um, when you haven't made serious blunders, because it makes you look like a genius, right? <laughs> Sorry, just caffeinating. There you go, four seconds down on the first move. Arthur, I was just looking at your profile picture, and I was considering whether this is an e4 
uh, type of guy or a, or a or a D4 type of guy. Um, typically, I, I, I like to keep, I like to dictate the conversation. Like, for example, take, 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 and then tell me what you want to do from that point onwards. Play knight to c3. We don't get in the habit of having to move as fast as Arthur. Arthur, he might be overclocked. I don't know what time zone he's in. Um, what, what, I don't know what country this is. Hungary? Oh, so he, it's like uh, it's the evening for Arthur. Uh, he, he's probably just enjoying a, a little uh, a little chess after dark. You know, he's had a, a full work day. I'm, I'm over here. It's like it's 9.18 in the morning. And, uh, it, you know, just trying to, just trying to keep the old cerebellum working. So how do I like this? We're up by a pawn. So that kind of kiboshes that. Um, I think we put some pressure on this to try to get an open file here. This pawn is a sore spot for us, but it's very similar to what they've got down here. Uh, I, I don't know if I would say that we have a winning position right now. Or it's not even a winning position, but you know what I mean. So your your new move has not really threatened too much. In fact, it got rid of the strength here. So my next step is to uh, remove your bishop from the equation. Although, there is, of course, a temptation, if he's not paying attention, to do something like this. But uh, we need the bishop gone first. Because otherwise, the knight being pinned, it won't be able to, to offer some protection here. So I think this is what we're going to do. He's probably going to do something like this next, uh, depending on what I do. I think we reinforce... Watch this, okay? Reinforce... This pawn to get ready for that push. Reinforce. He plays rook from uh, A to D8 for some reason. Um, or maybe, you know, like that. Let's just assume he does this. Uh, we <laughs> Dunk. 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 He falls back. Dunk. We push. He can't capture. Because we'll take... And then if he takes with the queen, we'd take with the rook. So we have a fork on a piece. The, the downside for me here, and this is the beauty of these five-minute frenetic games. I totally did the wrong move right out. Oh, you know what? He wasn't going to do it anyway. So he, he, he wanted to get weird with it, which I, I embrace. I embrace fully. <clears throat> Very interesting. And, and quite scary, honestly. Um, Okay, so we got to think about how we're going to get the heck out of town. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I've, we're up by two, but I don't feel good about it. Let's put it that way. I'm worried. Here's what I'm worried about, okay? is like we reinforce the knight so we can move the queen. They play queen to g6. Man, it would have been much better to move the rook first. Then we could still push that, I think. But anyway. Hey, baby, I know. Daddy's going to run out of time on top of, like, the embarrassing sort of gambit he played here. I'm just worried about... Okay, hold on. Dut. Yut. 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 Hey, duh. Jeez. I don't know, man. You got to play something, right? Keep in mind, it's not that bad. We do still have an extra knight right now. So you knew this was coming. And then what's the play? Because we, we we're watching out for, for check here. I think we have to play this to cover the queen. Or to cover the bishop. And then we're going to try to like anti-castle. Now we can actually move our knight as well. Which is the, the beautiful thing. So you, of course this was a concern. Um, hey baby. I think he moved the knight. And then he... Oh. I think you move the knight. Time is going to be tight here. I mean, we're only on move 18. I've used 80% of my time. Arthur, this, these are not 1,300 attacks. This is... Am I going up against the Hungarian Magnus Carlsen? All right. So, I mean, we still have a genuine threat here. Like, we're, we're going to lose the bishop is probably just the way to describe it. Um... So I think again here's the <laughs> here's the anti castle. I've accepted the the loss of the bishop. And I, I feel like I, I'll just own up to the fact that we're being outplayed right now. Okay, so they they actually want to trade, um, which was surprising for me. Now 
I'm not sure I actually want to anti castle. Now that the because they're up by one point, but I feel like if they had if they had taken with the pawn and just taken the bishop instead, they would have been much better off. But I mean, the, you know, we, we got a real time crunch coming in. But in this situation, I don't mind so much having my king involved. I still think we're at a disadvantage. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean they're up by a pawn, and it's this pawn. <laughs> How are you going to defend this, man? It's not easy. We got to move faster. It's it's just that simple, okay? So let's let's anti castle and then we're going to go to e two to to get our rooks connected. Um, <clears throat> cover this because you know he's probably coming in to get uh, some pressure on that. And following this, we'll we'll play rook to g1, no matter what, more or less. <laughs> this is a bad time situation, but keep in mind, I've played a lot of bullet. I've played a lot of bullet recently, so I am primed, right, baby? You know it as well as I do. I'm primed to move quick here. We just we can't spend too much time talking. I don't really want to take that, but if we will now focus on f trying to force the bishop out. Yeah, I don't mind. I've decided I don't mind. Um, we got to go a little faster, though. I think we're still safe. As long as our king can get here. Take, 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 take. Oh, no, they choose not to take. They choose not to take. Okay, we'll take here, then. Definitely not bad. It's all about this bishop right now. I will say, I'm, I'm much worse at the openings... Than the average like fifteen hundred level player, I think, but I I genuinely do think I'm substantially more. I have the muscle memory of the end game. Now that's not to say we're gonna win here. Hey baby. I'll I'll do it. I'll take the trade. I really don't want to lose this pawn. That's that's why we're we're going hard here. We got to be careful about this diagonal, in theory. I mean, like at this point, yeah, yeah I was going to say, unless you want to draw, we got to do something. I really don't want... How, how am I going to get out of this without losing this... Oh, okay. Well, if he moves that, then we got no problems. Um, again, time is of the essence. We we have to move our rook first. The the ah, we should have moved the back one. Twenty one seconds. <clears throat> that's that's a it's a task. Let's put it that way. Twenty one seconds is not easy. Seventeen seconds is even worse. He's got a distinct time advantage right now. We probably cannot afford to spend one second per move. You got to think about your pre-moves, though. Before you do them, you got to think about them. There you go. That That's good. That's good. There's threats. He's going to do this, so we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What does he do next? Probably this. <clears throat> No, okay, I don't know what to do then. Uh, we'll go here. He'll put us in check. We'll move back one. Eight seconds. That's not where I wanted to be. Just a literal misclick. Had to be done. He's taking our pawn. We're taking his pawn. <laughs> Just keep him moving. Oh, that's such a terrible move. Thank you. Saved. Saved. 
Okay, you got me. Arthur, you got me. I spend way too much time in the early game. You got me, okay? And I know, by the way, people are going to be like, play longer time controls. You get, again, remember, the preamble was put at the video, of the, uh, the, the beginning of the video for a reason. I've been playing such terrible chess and bullet exclusively. Just getting used to having a little bit more time is, uh, is, is good for me. Otherwise, we're going to be in 10 minutes. I'm going to be making one minute moves and feeling like a dummy. All right, let's step through the analysis here. Pretty normal so far. They don't mind the trade. I like I like screwing up their pawn structure. They absolutely hate this. Why? Queen to here. Okay, we play knight to uh, f3. And then they take the pawn anyway. You know what? That's actually good to know. I knew there was a bad reason for that. I mean, what do we play here? You have no choice, really. You, you play... Well, I mean, I suppose you have a choice. You could play king to f1. Or queen to e2. Um, both bad. Okay, you know what? That's a nice little trap early on. And I actually kind of want to remember that as, as black, okay? So if we end, if we find ourselves in this situation as black, if they take, you just play queen to d4. Yeah, anyway, they're like, that was a terrible move. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> and then we're just keeping it moving. They, they think we got a good position here. We're up by two. Uh, despite being up by a pawn, we're up by two. And they're like, it's still really good. Nothing to concern yourself with. Up by two and a half. Even yeah, still two and a half. Then, now they're like, this is where it all comes crashing down. Now it's a mathematically drawn game, which is why my demeanor changed once we, once we did that. Okay, then you're, you're going here. They like our position again. I don't know what we should have done here. We made, we made the best move. That's good to see. And they're like, that's fine. And then we moved our knight back. That's not good. Yeah, hold on. Why did I tunnel vision on this knight? I guess what I was worried about is if I move the bishop, they get a discovered attack on anything. But what could the, what would that discovered attack be good for right now? Actually, nothing. So even if I if I move back one and they like discovered attack, I mean even if they take here, we just take and we get out of the check, which is not that bad. Um, if I were them, I'd probably try to keep the bishop. So I might even just play that. They prefer the take though, and then we just, I mean, we pretty much have to go back. No, oh, see, we lose our knight here, don't we? In this? No, because we play bishop to g3. All right. It, it, look, we mathematically, I can't argue with the engine. That would have been better. Yeah, I tunnel vision for some reason on that discovered attack. Anyway, they, they didn't really capitalize. We got lucky, and then they, it's just it's a mess. Um, they think black has an advantage here, which I think is fair. And I, I, don't, I don't know. We went about 10 minutes without making a good move. Wait, wait, hold on. Where, where did we get it back? So I was like, okay, so it, black has the advantage. And then it's still black has the advantage. Still has the advantage. We do get it back before the end game. Yeah, they're like, what are you doing? Good take. Good take. Good take. Black still has the advantage. We tried to force a draw. Now they're like, it's a mathematical draw. And I'm pretty sure... I mean, we were on like... Yeah, we are on 20 seconds at this point. <laughs> we, uh, You know what? Now that I'm looking at the report... Oh, we, we were up by, by 5 as of right here. But anyway, again, we also had 1.2 seconds on the clock. That's going to do it for the first chess video. I know we only played two shorter games. But uh, again, you can hear a little baby in the background here. Right? We're going to try to fit in another. I think we're going to play another series of five-minute games, and we'll gradually ladder up to those time controls. So thanks for your patience while I, while I work to get these out and, and wean myself off of the bad habit of bullet. If you enjoyed it, please do click the like button. Love uh, seeing all the support on the chess videos. It's, it's, it's like uh, ridiculous seeing all the support on the chess videos. I appreciate it. And uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash northernline. I'm live every day, but Saturday we play some chess over there all the time. See you then.